the good this season, they go now to start. Keandro Gordon of Excelsior has run upon 53-93 this season, and this is a real test of how good he is. Ran down by Grave at the perfect distance. Classic was behind him yesterday as well in qualifying. Jaquan Koch is a different athlete this season at 800. Hubert Lawrence, in the past, we've been accustomed to seeing him hang back and then finish really fast. He's been willing to take on the races in 2024, and the two Kingston College boys are doing just that, Wardlow and Koch. Koch on the inside from a Class 300 champion. Wardlow, the soldier with no face. This is his chance to step into the sunshine, does that, takes the lead, his teammate is second. Down the home stretch they come, and it is Wardlow who finds himself at the front. Picked in the class one final last year, Siobhan Wardlow. 54-3 for the first lap for Wardlow, and he's pressing the pace. He definitely is pressing the pace. Coke, who got a 1500 silver yesterday, is in second position. Keandro Gordon is well poised for Excelsior in third position. Cope makes a move down the back stretch and goes by Siobhan Wardlow. Jaquan Coke of Kingston College with the lead. Gordon is in third for Excelsior. Wardlow is in second. The Kingston College boys looking for the Quinella. Under 200 meters to run. Cope grips his teeth and moves again. The little man leads the two big men behind him. Jaquan Coke with the advantage. Keandro Gordon is well placed once again for Excelsior. Gordon comes on the outside of Coke. Coke is fighting. Gordon is fighting as well. Jaquan Coke, the former Class 3 champion, wins big at corporate here. He goes away from Gordon. 151-57 points at the clock. That is a massive performance. Unbelievable by Jaquan Coke. No medley this year. Two gold medals, but at 151.5, he's in the flat 800 meters for the first time since class three. 149.53 is the record at corporate set by the Vincentian Handel Roban, who represented Jamaica College. It's a personal best for Keandra Gordon of Excelsior, 152.47. Wardlow is at 155 in third maybe he's the man who will have to set a four medley duties you'll never know but this was a terrific effort from jack one the former class three champion i'm stunned at that 151.59 for jake one coke no indication of where that was coming from timed him last week on four by eight duty in spanish town 154.5 for him to come up so big so deep so courageous at 151.59 coach hamlin pagan he too like dwayne johnson Brilliant job with the 800 men at Kingston College. And here he is in pain, in agony, but hanging on for dear life to 151.5. Brilliant. That is what happens when you're willing to take on the races, Hubert. And it's been a massive difference this season. From the first meet I saw him, he's been willing to front run. He's not leaving it for the last 200 meters. And so he is producing with more consistency, faster times. And in his final year of high school, I'm pretty sure that he'll have a chance to go the individual 800 at champs. I hope he's not out of breath. He's with Daniel Dowie. Class one boys, 800 meter winner, Jacquan, Mr. Smooth Coke. Talk to us <laughs> about that nickname and what it took for you to win this race today. Well, it was all about my teammate who gave me that name. In this race, I just come out here, execute what my coach said I should do. And I think I did it pretty well. I think so too. Congratulations, Mr. Smooth, and Thank all the you. best. All right, thanks. Jacques Uncourt, the former Class 3 champion, is the corporate area Class 1 winner, 151-59. A stunning performance, personal best. Personal best for Keandra Gordon of Excelsior. He continues to get better with each race, 155-43. Wardlow, I think, will be disappointed, although he gets the bronze with price of Jamaica College in fourth at 156.23. You can see the work that Coke has put in on the practice field at KC, maybe the last couple of seasons. When he's tired, keeps on swinging his arms, keeps on going up.